they bombed Pearl Harbor, living in Southern California. Wilmington, which is between San Pedro and Long Beach, it was the harbor. And we were right in the center of oil refineries, shipyards, and uh, aircraft factories, so we felt we were a prime target. <laughs> I remember the rationing, the rationing of um, tires, gas, um, sugar, shoes. Both my husband and I agreed it was the worst of times and the best of time because it's the only time since I can remember that the whole country was very, very united. It didn't matter your political affiliation or whatever. We were all united for the war. The war of and of course we were we were fighting two wars, one in Europe and one in the Pacific. And uh, everybody was involved in it. Even even the school kids. We saved stuff, you know. Tin foil. We made little balls out of tin foil. And uh, you couldn't buy uh, nylon stockings because they were making parachutes. So that's when everybody started putting, uh, you know, makeup on their legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and uh, C's uh, would open one day a week and there'd be a line around the, the block and you could only buy one pound because sugar was rationed. And uh, my, my brother wore his shoes out faster than me, so he got my shoe stamps, mm -hmm. ration stamps. Everybody in the family had a ration belt. And we had blackouts, you had to have, you know, no lights showing. They had a special black bulb you put in your lamp. It's, um, it, it was just a different time. And e even as a child, um, I wasn't that scared because we just seemed like we were all united to do this. My dad was an air raid warden. He had to go around and check the neighborhood to be sure nobody was had any lights showing, you know. And um, it just, we were just all in it together. We were all in it together. I think he'd be very proud. He'd be very proud to be a part of this. He, he definitely uh, loved his country very much. We both did. And both our parents were immigrants from Europe. And they truly, truly loved this country, and that was passed on to us. We didn't take it for granted. We just really loved this country. All saying patriotic songs in school, the Pledge of Allegiance and all that, I don't know if they do that anymore. But that was part of our, our, our growing up.